Well, good morning, East Texas, south side. Look at the temperatures. A very summer-like forecast headed our way with temperatures in the mid to upper 70s this early in the morning. Yeah, you know, it's a toasty air atmosphere outside. Lots of cloud cover in place across all of East Texas, but not seeing much in the way of rainfall. As of yet, we've got a few sprinkles, maybe a little mist and drizzle, but that's really about it. Lots of clouds, but a weak disturbance off near the San Angelo area now, producing scattered showers and thunder showers here uh, just to the west of the 35 corridor. And this disturbance will slowly break its way into East Texas later this morning into the early afternoon hours. So grab the rain gear. You may not need it as you get ready to head out the door here within the next hour or so. But by the time you head towards the lunch and then later this afternoon, you will need that rain gear out there. So keep that in mind. We've got a dry line and an upper level system stalled out to our west. We're seeing kind of disturbances rippling along that flow from southwest to northeast. So here's one disturbance making its way into the area later this morning. We'll see another one develop probably for later this evening and overnight. And then we'll see a big one developing here on our Friday as this upper level support makes its way towards east Texas. So a storming pattern is headed our way. It kicks off this afternoon with these scattered showers and thunder showers, about a 40% coverage across the area. Then overnight tonight, we can see a round of showers and storms and then especially on your Friday as this entire upper level system moves towards the east Friday afternoon and the Friday evening widespread showers and thunderstorms some strong to severe will begin to make their way into east Texas so make sure you definitely are weather aware as you go throughout the next couple of days and then that system moves to our east and some drier air slides to slide into the area by the weekend. Your first alert weather day has been issued for Thursday and Friday, meaning disruptive weather could impact your outside plans, so just keep that in mind. As far as severe weather is concerned, the greatest threat would be from some damaging winds and large hail. Uh, I think the primary concern for all of us, though, will be the potential of some isolated flash flooding. While I'm only expecting one to two inches of rainfall on average across East Texas, some isolated locations with some heavier downpours will get a chance to see up to four inches of rainfall. So we want you to stay weather aware as we go throughout the next couple of days with that potential of flooding, especially. Your first alert, seven-day forecast, 83 today. Scattered showers and storms out there possible. Better chances of widespread showers and storms on your Friday. And then I think it comes to an end early Saturday. Just your typical popcorn showers over the weekend into your Memorial Day. All right. And we talked about this earlier. If you're mm -hmm. traveling this Memorial Day, we can take some extra time. That flooding we talked mm -hmm. about. That's, Turn around. Don't drown. That's right. Exactly. Also important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Life-saving advice. Mm -hmm.